Lottie Doll's new doll has a cochlear implant, which is great for children with hearing impairments like mine. Can you imagine what it would be like to live in a world without music? Every day we can hear the sounds of birds in the trees, cars beeping their horns, dogs barking, the doorbell ringing and laughter. Noises that we take for granted. The simple act of conversation between two people. Studies show that hearing loss can have mental, physical and psychological impacts on children and adults. Whether it happens suddenly or gradually over time, hearing loss can leave people feeling depressed and disconnected from the people around them. Struggling to hear can cause people to withdraw socially and cause major problems. That's why it's so important that children with impaired hearing know that they are not alone. Mia, the wildlife photographer is the first Lottie doll to be launched with cochlear implants as well as her trusty camera that she takes everywhere with her. Mia has been developed in collaboration with the Natural History Museum and a creative collective called Toy Like Me who celebrate disability in toys and aim to positively represent 150 million children with disabilities in difference worldwide. Toy Like Me was established in April 2015 after journalist and creative consultant Rebecca Atkinson noticed the lack of positive disability representation in toys. Rebecca wears a hearing aid and one of her business partners and a fellow parent has a child with visual impairment. She wanted to create something to talk to children everywhere. A cochlear implant can help a person with moderate to profound hearing loss in both ears. These people would receive little or no benefit from traditional hearing aids. If fitting the implant is successful, they can have conversations on the phone and understand 80% of a sentence, compared to the 10% they can understand with a hearing aid or lip reading alone. They can focus better in busy environments as the implant does not pick up all of the background noises like a hearing aid. This can be life-changing for many. My eldest didn't say his first word at the same time as babies of a similar age. I had no idea whether that was normal or not. When he started to try to get his first words out it was obvious that he was pronouncing words as he heard them. No matter how many times I repeated the correct pronunciation he would continue to use his own way. It sounded like he was wearing headphones and was underwater. Lengthy conversations with the GP began with them trying to assure me that he was learning at his own pace, and then they finally gave in to my relentless requests for a specialist referral. We were told that he had thick glue ear and would not be able to hear too much as things were. The great news was that a simple operation to fit grommets would hopefully work to drain the glue from his ears and hearing would be restored. Because he was only two, we went to the wonderful Royal Alexander Hospital in Brighton, and my little boy was put to sleep for the grommets to be fitted. What's that noise, he said upon wakening. It was an aeroplane far away in the sky. I realized that he had never heard one before. Age two, my boy bounced out of bed within a few hours of his surgery and wanted to go to the local playground. The busy streets of Brighton made him jump like never before. His head was spinning round every few seconds, turning to see new sounds and noises in his environment. My five-year-old spent the first 18 months of his life with glue ear so bad that his ear drum burst every two weeks. He now has a hole in his ear from the constant bursting. He was in a world of his own, couldn't hear stories at nursery, he could play in a quiet environment, but busy places shut him down to do his own thing. He got in trouble for not listening, even when I told people that he couldn't. I bought a Lottie doll last Christmas for one of the boys. The team from Lottie Dolls in Ireland have developed their toys based on real children. The dolls wear coats that look like they are from M&S just like the boys. They do normal stuff like go to cub camp or brownie camp. They gaze at stars and go fossil hunting and fishing. Do I like the fact that they have introduced Mia, the wildlife photographer with her cochlear implant? Absolutely. Day one in my eldest child's primary school there was a boy in his class fitted with cochlear implants. His hair was short and you could see the bits attached to his skull. I had never seen one before and wanted to ask questions. The kids went up and asked him about it. The little boy was born with no hearing at all. After three years he was fitted with implants. 
his mother still cannot believe that he is at a regular school and able to learn, even with some delays. He will love Mia because she will make him feel normal. RSPCA is appealing for homes for three.